What's up, bro? Hey, dude. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. We Big didn't talk Reed, about... I miss you. I know, bro. Do you remember the last time we seen each other? What was happening? Was it uh, the interview in the in like the court, like basketball court? It was. Uh, we were at. We were. It was eight letter San Jose. But the last last time I seen you, you, you remember? Oh God, I need something. You didn't I have your pants on. Oh. Wait, Real dude. random. Okay, I talk about Wait. it on my IG live sometimes. But we were backstage. We oh, were uh, we were meeting with uh, with Brian. We were saying what's up, and you just happened to be down the hallway. And oh, kind of good stuff. Yeah, I was just running around naked. Yeah, <laughs> those are good times. Hey, yo, that's why I, we have such a good bond, Reed. Because right, yeah, right, you saw me naked. I mean, you weren't all the way naked. Okay, first of all. Yeah. Oh, well, okay, <laughs> but I, yeah. I do. I do want to mention that the fact that you still took a picture with the fan, even though you didn't have any pants on. So that that just goes to show how much you do care about your limelights, bro. Heck yeah, dude. Heck so how you feeling? How, how's the uh, last nine months been? Like, what, what's Man, going on? I'm, uh, I'm feeling good. We're uh, at our rehearsal space right now in Los Angeles. And uh, really happy about, uh, dude, Fallen's going crazy. Um, and, you know, I can't complain. Like, life is just really good. I'm happy to be you know, back online and, you know, talking to the fans, talking to you and kind of like doing something with my life again. Because, mm-hmm. man, quarantine, ugh, you know, it's been messing with everybody. But, For sure. man, you know, it's been it's been a weird, weird time for the world. But uh, it feels good to be at least doing what I love again, you know. Right. So thanks for asking. I was I was pretty shocked last week when you said that uh, you spent a lot of time scuba diving in the bottom of your pool. Yeah, I, you know, at first it was just like a sheer buy out of boredom. Like, I was like, you know, I got a pool. I've always wanted a pool. I've always wanted to scuba dive. These these go together. And I, Word. man, I'm telling you, if, yeah, if you're even anxious, you go down there and you just, oh, you just breathe for 10 minutes at the bottom of a pool. You'd be surprised. It's nice. Well, how, what's the longest you spent down there just hanging out? Uh, the tank goes 10 minutes, but, bro, okay. okay, so you're supposed to get, like, an electric pump. I got a hand pump, and I don't even work out. I just do that for, like, it takes, like, three hours to pump You up. don't work I out. Like, yeah, no. And I used to, and then I just started pumping up that damn tank, and now I'm good. That's all I got to do. <laughs> Word. I was worried about possibly if the next time when I seen you guys, if you're going to try to put me in the headlock, bro. You look like you've been working out. <laughs> uh, no, you still got me, but I've been, work- I've been working out a little bit. I mean... That's how you know I'm bored, though. I've been working out for fun. Like, that's <laughs> that's all you got to do, you know? Between that, scuba diving, music, and trying new foods. That's about all I got. I'm down with the trying food. I'm not really into working out, but I got to fix that, bro. I got to I gotta get my uh, uh no, my, my bro. Body no, down. it's the brand. It's the swag. That's your it's, swag. It's on, it's on brand. Uh, I got a couple of uh, questions from some limelights that were submitted uh, through Twitter, through IG, and I'm just going to run through them really quickly. Uh, mm-hmm. Since we're talking about food, Bianca and Half Moon Bay, she wants to know uh, what's your weirdest food combination, bro. Bianca, um, the other day, uh, my brother made fried rice with pineapple. I don't. It's, that's not that weird though. That's. I feel like that's actually really normal. All right, well, let me think of a better one. Pineapple. No, but it was good. He made it homemade. Shout out Tyler. He made some good fried rice. Um, man, what's the weirdest food I had? Um, oh, one time I ran out of milk during quarantine when everyone was buying every grocery. Mm. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, we got like this rock band going crazy here. Uh, oh, man, that sounds like fun. Yeah, it is kind of fun. But uh, I put water in my cinnamon toast crunch because I didn't know what else to use. That was kind of gross. Did it work, though? I mean, I, I ate like half of it. And then all right. It. All right. It, it was all right. Uh, Melanie knows, uh, wants to know how has, uh, taking a nine month, uh, break changed your, uh, your mental health, your mentality, like the way you see it. Um, I feel like if it was like a graph, it would be like, oh my God, I'm sorry. It's terrifying. It's um, fine, bro. I feel like it'd be like, this was coming off to her, uh, real life hit. And then like, you know, I worked through it type of thing. I feel like, I mean, it, it was tough cause it, it, you know, in a sense, it was like we were what felt like on the top of the world you know we were on tour every day doing shows like you're literally like high on adrenaline like i don't think people Mm. realize like what adrenaline does to you especially over time 
and like you i mean like you're really high on life like it's it's pretty crazy and mm -hmm. um you know coming home uh for the first month or two is super fun and then you know when quarantine hit especially i think uh real life kind of sank in and then i i lost a really good friend of mine Corey. Mm -hmm. um and i mean man when something like that happens i think real life just really smacks you in the face a bit um and it but but in a way i think the silver lining would be it, it taught me like a lot about accepting real life and being happy with real life because again it's like if you're high on life right now and you're up here it's really hard to accept like normalcy in reality that was tough um but it, it honestly i think was good because i've been reaching out to you know family and friends that i hadn't been reaching out to and you know like really like reconnecting with people that I really should be reconnecting with and like you know exercising and getting healthy and like just like doing all that it sounds cliche honestly like all mm -hmm. the stuff that you got to do to stay healthy mentally and physically and all that but like it's been helping me so even if it is cliche it's it's working you know but yeah I mean that was I feel like everyone felt it during quarantine it's like when everyone's working or having distractions and then you got nothing to do Mm -hmm. it'll mess with you but i think yeah. uh i think everyone's at this point now where it feels like the whole world's like figuring it out together you know like but yeah we're all in the same you know we're all human and in the same situation right now so we all feel that facts yeah i lost one of my best friends uh two months ago and that that, that messed me up bro oh man like I'm basically sorry. With, with what you're saying is like you're hitting, you're hitting it right on the right on the nose. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're really on point with your answer, bro. So yeah. What was that? If you don't mind me asking, what was her name? Her name was Angela. Uh, she actually uh, met you guys the first time you came to uh, our station in San Francisco. She was taking photos that day. Oh my god. Dude. And when it happened, I'm I remember Joey reached out. Yeah, man. It was, it, it was tough. You know, we, we, we've all dealt with something in 2020. I remember. Yeah. I think one it of the didn't interviews. Stop. Yeah, we've all we've all dealt with something. And I've seen one of the interviews you guys did recently where four out of five of you had COVID. So that's kind of crazy to think about. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, that was nuts. Good, though. Yeah, dude, it was, I, I, with that, it was kind of nuts because the first time I had it, I had it early, like really early. Mm -hmm. um, and me and Corey actually had it. And I, I, he was like, I don't know what you gave me, man, but I feel like, like he was like pissed at me for it. Um, but yeah, I like my whole body's hurting and all this stuff. And I was like, man, I've never had a flu like this. What's going on? Mm -hmm. And then, like, that's, like, before, I guess, like, the, like, news really came out about COVID. And when it came out, I went and got tested and was negative, but I had the antibodies. So I was like, okay, well, that makes sense now. Um, and then <laughs> later I got tested um, prior to, like, getting back into rehearsing and shooting music video, Fallen and all that. Um, and when it got tested and came back positive, but they didn't feel anything. And I was that's like, crazy. weird. But, uh, you know, tested a week, two weeks later, and was negative and good. So we're good now, but the, yeah, and it's real. You yeah, know. man, yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm avoiding it. That's why I'm in the car. I'm yeah, in the tux, bro. I can attest uh, that it is real. <laughs> oh, bro, that, that test is no bueno. Uh, Alyssa, I got like two more questions for you. Alyssa said, uh, "How many times during this whole like?" break you guys have taken did you like pick up your phone and get ready to post on ig but was like oh no i can't do it or how many that, times that, did you have to that, stop that, yourself that was tough um you know i liked there was a side of me that really liked being off my phone um i didn't love the idea that uh we couldn't really um you know talk to our fans and that was obviously tough mm -hmm. um you know, but it, it, there was this weird, like, side where, I mean, the fans, like, were really happy that we were having a break, but, like, that no contact kind of killed me at times. And we had this uh, we had this app where we had, like, a phone number and you could text, but uh, the hard thing was, like, international fans couldn't be part of the app because the app hadn't created, like, that big of a platform, I guess. So, um, you know, it was, like, I don't know, it was, it was tough to, like, know that some fans just couldn't hear from us for that long unless they got it from, like, a US fan and just you know all of that I miss that now I did love being off my phone and actually like kind of what we were saying like learning how to like have real conversation was great but um and like seeing how many hours went down of wasted time on my phone you know how it tells you like yeah, how yeah, much, yeah bro I was like I was hitting like what like eight hours or something I was like this is not good like this I need a break but yeah yeah, my, my numbers are crazy. My numbers are Yeah, bro. Crazy. No, it's, yeah, I feel you. 
And the last one I have is uh, from Vivi, because she'll kill me if I don't ask you this question, because she asked you this during the Zoom call. Did you find the ring that she had given you, that she mentioned to you? Remember oh, the Gucci the ring. Yes, yeah. I have the Gucci ring. Okay, she's, Vivi, she I has it. Gucci ring. I'm we not are wearing good to it go. <laughs> I'm not wearing it right now, because I've been playing guitar all day, and I would yeah. probably lose it again. But I have it, yeah, in my closet. Maybe I'll put, like, a tweet up wearing it. People oh. will be like, you're just flexing. I'll be like, no, this was for the foot, yeah. Yeah. Look, bro, uh, we're happy for you guys. You know we got a lot of love for you. Uh, fi uh, Fallen's fire. Thank um, you. Like, and, uh, I know you can't talk about, like, any details on the album and stuff like that, but we know that Fallen is track number 10. How fire is track 9, and what can we expect from that? Uh, Fallen actually is not track 10. I think the video... Oh. <laughs> so, well, no, but, but no, I know where you're, where you're getting it from. Corbin said... Can you not fly here, please? <laughs> uh, hold up. He's, he's really making his rounds. Um, so he was saying that was the 10th track we finished. Oh, okay. Okay. Make that album done. Uh, Fallen is probably going to be near the first half of the, uh, first half of the album. Um, track, the actual track 10, though, is one of my favorites. I will say that. Okay. Like, uh, it's a song about anxiety, I think, is the one mm. that's 10. I'm pretty sure. But, you know, things can change. But as of now, I'm pretty sure that one's about anxiety. So. That's what's up. You know, anyone can relate with that. Really, anxiety is tough yeah, to deal with. especially now. Man. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Look, man, uh, we're going to keep playing the song. We're going to keep trying to build up for you guys and keep supporting. <laughs> and, uh, we look forward to y'all coming back to the Bay. You know, we're going to have some uh, some fun when you do, all right? Oh, hell yeah. All right. I love you, brother. Love you too, Good bro. Good seeing you. Stay safe. Peace out, man. Bye.